I can't help myself. <laughs> I love you and nobody else. Sugar hey, you guys, pie, it's Christina. Mom. You know I Mom. love you. Love you. <laughs> you know I love you. Love you. Let's just I make some nut milk. <laughs> I love you and nobody else. Boom, boom, boom. Hey you guys, it's Christina. Hey you guys, it's Sandra. And we're so happy to be in the kitchen with you today. With you today, yes. We are gonna be showing you how to make a nut milk. And not just any nut milk, but a raw vegan nut milk. We're gonna use almonds, you can use cashews. I have people ask me all the time how to make a simple nut milk. For those who are trying to transition into a vegan, a raw, or even a vegetarian lifestyle, making a delicious and simple nut milk is essential, especially when trying to transition and trying to make some delicious recipes. You can make a simple nut milk or you can really jazz it up and you can make different kinds of nut milks. And we're gonna show you all of that today. We're super excited. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and join the family as we have fun making different healthy recipes, raw vegan recipes, spending time with family and so much more. I'm so happy to have you guys with us. I've been a raw vegan for 12 years. Mom has been doing a 21 day challenge with me on you know, going raw vegan and having a great time. And we've been having fun together and we're so excited to have you join us. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment below and ask me what other recipes that you would like to see me make a raw vegan version of. One of the benefits of making your own nut milk is that it is a dairy free, cruelty-free milk product. And some people spell it M-Y-L-K to let you know that it's vegan. There are many different reasons why I do not support the consumption of dairy, but just a few of them are that dairy is not healthy for your body. It's extremely cruel to animals, especially animals who are factory farmed, and it is awful for the environment. For those of you who care about your body, the animals, or the environment, a nut milk is a much more compassionate way to live your life, to feed your body, and to take care of your family, your friends, everyone around you. And I personally believe that nut milks are far more delicious than animal milk. If you guys wanna check out another one of my videos that I made about why dairy and why milk is bad for you, I'll put the link in the description below. Raw vegan recipes can taste just as good, if not better, than the cooked alternative version. And I can validate that. That is really true. Very true. <laughs> All that being said, I'm excited to share this recipe with you. Let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started in here. Let's get started in here. <laughs> To make this nut milk, I'm gonna be using my Vitamix blender, and you can use any high-speed blender of your choice. If you guys are interested in a high-speed blender, I highly recommend a Vitamix. It is one of my favorite kitchen tools, and if you use the affiliate code on the screen, you can get free shipping on any Vitamix order. The first step in making any simple nut milk is soaking your nuts for approximately eight hours. Mom, stop laughing. Stop laughing. <laughs> that sounds very strange. The first step in making any type of nut milk, whether it be almond milk, cashew milk, macadamia nut milk, or more, the first step that you need to do is soak your nuts in water for about eight hours. We're gonna be using almonds today, but another one of my favorite nuts to make milk out of are cashews because it comes out creamy and sweet. We soaked these almonds in water for about eight hours, and then in the morning, we peeled off the skin. After you soak almonds for a period of time, the skin slips off very easily, and you're left with this beautiful almond nut. It's white and it's creamy, and I find that it makes your milk come out even more beautiful and sweet. After you've done this, you're going to put your almonds in the blender. Add in approximately three to four cups of raw coconut water. If you don't have coconut water, you can use water as well. It's just as good. I have just come to love using coconut water 
to make my milks because it makes it even sweeter and more delicious than any milk that I could possibly taste. After this, I'm gonna take one vanilla bean and I'm going to scrape out the vanilla in the middle. And then I'm going to put that little bit into the blender as well. If you wanna add in some cinnamon, voila, ladies and gentlemen, you are making a delicious, delicious nut milk here. If you wanna leave out the cinnamon, you can do that too. Blend this up until it is completely creamy and smooth and looks like a liquid. And even though it's gonna look just like milk, the next step that you wanna do is you wanna take a giant bowl and a strainer and you wanna make sure that you strain everything into this bowl. You're gonna see a lot of pulp come out and this is okay. You can save the pulp and use it later in a recipe and make some type of a date nut bar. You can make little truffles. But for the purpose of making a very smooth and delicious milk, we're going to strain out the pulp here. After you strain out the pulp, what you are left with is a beautiful, delicious, creamy, cruelty-free, beautiful raw vegan nut milk. And keep in mind that this is almond milk, but you can do this with cashews, macadamia nuts, Brazil nuts, and so much more. You're gonna be left with a bit of almond pulp, and there's so much that you can do with this pulp, especially if you're using different types of nuts. You can take this and make it into a nut cheese. You can make this into a raw cream cheese. You can use this in a type of dessert if you want to make it into a raw truffle ball or add some raw cacao to it. You don't have to throw away your nut pulp. You can use it to make so many other things. And I think perhaps we'll show you how to do that in a future video. So hang on to your pulp. If you're looking for something to do with this amazing nut milk, a recommendation that I have is to blend it with some frozen raspberries and maybe perhaps even some Sun Warrior vanilla protein powder to make it even creamier. And then you're going to have a creamy raspberry vanilla protein milkshake. It tastes so amazing. You can add a banana in there. Trust me when I say there are so many different things you can do with nut milks. This is just the base recipe. And then from there, the sky's the limit. You can be infinitely creative. All right, mom, you ready for a taste test? I'm ready, let's we do it. We put some cinnamon in here. Okay, so, cheers. excellent, cheers. Let's see the verdict here. Mmm, that's creamy and mm. delicious. I like the mm. vanilla. It has a wonderful smooth after effect. I really like that. You know what's funny? I don't really remember too much what it's milk good. milk tastes like, but this, I just know it tastes so much better. This is, this is very good. Really, Amazing. very good. If you guys have liked this video and if you approve of this nut milk, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let us know your thoughts. And be sure to hit the subscribe button. Join the family, you guys. We're so happy to have you here. And if you wanna see me on my other social media, you can find me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, all the above at Fully Raw and Fully Raw Christina. All right, you guys, I have enjoyed having you here with us today, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Sending you all my hugs and my love. Bye. Bye.